Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a Magic the Gathering artist. Uh, artists are often individuals that many times will get themselves in trouble, especially on Twitter. They never really seem to learn that Twitter is not their friend, and what they post on Twitter will absolutely be used against them very soon. So back to this artist, uh, what did he exactly post? I'm just going to read you his own. This is absolutely the play. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mutters and string them up. This is from a Magic the Gathering artist. Let me repeat this statement again. This is absolutely the play. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mutters and string them up. So essentially... Um, yeah, uh, it, it does seem like a very, very clear what he's asking people to do. And interesting enough, right, uh, he says, All right, let me find your mother and partner and harass them. Fair game. Gotcha. I love to learn from the good guys. I mean, if I turn into a total piece of shit and start harassing women online, then yeah, go nuts. And then he made his tweet. I don't think he understands like what is exactly happening. Um, now he is the creative director of Grinmore. He is a Magic the Gathering artist. Um, I, in fact, uh, let me read you. Uh, and this is on his own video. So this is on his own YouTube channel where he has control over comments he can delete. Paul, as a longtime fan and follower of your work, what you said and how you responded to the backlash was beyond disappointing. Edit PSA, after some exchange, I'm quite sure the dem in the string them up doesn't refer to mutters, but the harassers themselves doesn't make the messes that much better, but it makes a ton of difference. To be very clear, the whole thing blew up over a tweet response, which I deleted, because I worded it really badly. I was responding to a woman who had received death threats and was trying to say yes in that circumstance, letting their partner or parent, if they are a kid, know what happened is a good move. I totally understand how it could read be read differently, especially without the context. That's why I deleted it. Someone screenshotted it before that though, and it took it widely out of context. I feel effing awful that it came across that wrong way. Hey Paul, let me clarify because I did see everything going down live, so I'm actually quite clear on the context. When you say string them up, you weren't referring to gamers' mutters, significant others, but to the gamers themselves, not that it makes it that much better, but that would make a ton of difference. I have seen you saying that people are taking your tweet out of context but I think if you don't explain the difference, people are just going to assume that you're wrong being dishonest about people interpreting, misinterpreting your tweet. Even though you may be absolutely right, people aren't interpreting your tweet correctly. This seems to be a very unfortunate situation if my assumption is right. For anyone clicking here, the tweet response that he worded badly is, This is absolutely the play. We should be all doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mothers and string them up. How can how this can be read differently or how any additional context will help make it seem anything except for a call to action to string up people's relatives and mothers, I have no ideas. The man slipped and revealed his true colors and now is trying desperately to cover up by lying, and that's just wildly out of context. Um, blah, blah, blah. This is a response from the guy. Absolutely. I absolutely was not talking about stringing up any mutters. That would be insane. Full pause. Let me, let me say it like this. Like, he is insane. <laughs> like, what, what else can I... I mean, I, I, I don't know uh, who would ever tweet something like this, not expect it to be screenshotted, and not expected to um, just get r rampaged. Like it's, I mean, it, it's um, not great. 
That phrase literally just means hold them up for accountability. Huh. Them being the people throwing death threats at a woman on the internet. So, like, he's so offended that supposedly there are, I don't really know the context, but there are death threats to this woman. And yet he's making death threats on moms and girlfriends, supposedly girlfriends, or boyfriends, or whatever you want, right? Like, does he not realize that, like, hate begot hate? And this is what I think Magic, I mean, this Magic got him got to look close into this, man. I know Cynthia Williams is gone to Funko now. But holy shit, man, this is just toxic. Like, it's so funny. It's like, it's like these Magic players who are like, oh, I hate how toxic the game is. And they're the reason the game is my effing toxic, right? Holy shit, man. It's like they have zero self-realization on, on this guy. There's zero self-realization that if he actually cares. And he said this right in Mother's Day. Right before Mother's Day. Mother's Day was yesterday. This is four days ago when he's commenting. After I tweeted, I saw how it can be misconstrued and deleted it. It shouldn't have gone any further, but someone screenshotted it and used it in bad faith to make me sound like a freak for some reason. I hope that clarifies it for you. There was no critic involved. That's a weird thing people are running with. It was my response to someone who was receiving death threats. And I am aware that the phrase has a far worse meaning, especially in the U.S. That's why I deleted the tweet. Then why did you write the tweet, you mother effing idiot? Like, why would you write the tweet? String them up. Do you, like, clearly this guy is, you know, like, I, I mean, come on. Why, why would you write? Why would you, why would that be in your context? Why would that be in your conscience? Why would that be something that you would even imagine, dude? Like, holy shit. I mean, it's kind of like, what is, what's going on? You know, what's going on, buddy? What's going on? Um, Just bizarre, right? Like, why would that be in your vocabulary to begin with? If you don't feel this way. Nice to get some clarif some, some clarify, clarify for this. I hope Trent of that park place will be including this bit of context since his article made it very clear that Paul Scott Carnivan had a YouTube channel. Even Alyssa did that at the request of the CEO of Farm Folks Game. Though I would like to see the context for a poorly worded tweet. I doubt Paul or anyone else thought to screenshot for that context before he deleted the tweet. Most people don't think about that sort of thing. Still, anyone who is reporting on this really should have thought about it. This guy does not know English very well. He issued a call to violence against people making death threats to Alyssa. Oh, Alyssa. I know who Alyssa is. Uh, Alyssa is the woman that, uh, what's her name? His name, Asmund Gold. Uh, Asmund Gold TV is not a fan of Alyssa, so somehow this guy was defending Alyssa at big a big bat. Sure, keep lying. The road to hell is paid with good intentions. It's actually a lot more interesting, but yeah. But I guess uh, a big bat, which is the guy, stopped responding. 